Alright everyone, I'm back. Sorry for that. Thanks AT&T for um, being a wonderful internet provider. People will go with that, so. Um, good thing we didn't get too far and we got some of the logistic or the initial things out of the way by waiting. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started, like I was saying. We're gonna use some matte black on the Darksaber. The reason I was saying before was um, that I really want this dark saber to be a void of color, and what I'm going to do is do some edge highlighting with some um, some white or some gray to make it have a glow effect and run some really fine light traces along the blade. So um, here's what we're going to do. So go ahead and get started on this dark saber. Here's my matte black. That's, looking, that's exactly what I wanted, was this complete black blade. So, there we are. And we're done. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I lost my photo reference of Sabine, so let me get her pulled up real quick. And get to looking at that. Right. I need to scroll down to her boots so I can see those. So I make sure I've got the right color for this. Our boots are black with some white on them. Perfect. All right. So we're gonna start. We're gonna do the pants, and we're gonna kind of work outward from there. Anyways, thanks for stopping by. If you are watching, feel free to comment, share, I'll answer any questions except for why my ISP is crappy. Um, the answer to that is, I'm not sure. I have to get on the horn with them. I thought they fixed it. I did contact them, but apparently not. So, like I said, for the pants, she's got two-tone pants on, and we're going to use this for the pants and the leather, different leather items that she's wearing around them, so the holster. And we're using Army Painter's Oak Brown. because we'll cover that up with the lighter color brown when we go over it. And if you recall, I am kind of a messy painter. So we will come back and we will do all of our touch-ups later. I do like that FFG has offered these additional poses for these miniatures. do unique, but I, I do feel like everyone's doing similar poses for their characters, because one of them, it felt like with each of the two models that they started, this, Sabine and Boss, one of the poses was very dynamic, and the other one was kind of more, hey, look, I'm here. Not, not as action-packed. So. Sabine's bright, colorful, be a lot of fun to paint. Again, if you're just joining back, thanks for coming back. Sorry about the hiccups before my internet provider is going to catch an earful. They've not been super quiet. The cooperative lately. I'm a curious man, so curious jeans. I get that from my dad. I'm not far from the tree. I feel like I'm a hair on my foot. I 
Thanks, cats. If you're, if you're watching, let me know. I'd appreciate you dropping a comment in the, the chat box there. I'd like to interact with my viewers while I'm thinking. get Sabine finished up tonight and if we do and it's not too late I'm not sure we'll see um, I may jump on painting a couple other things and if I do that I'll start a new stream for that so. but they likely won't be Star Wars Legion models that I paint thanks Dan appreciate it yeah if you if you are out there and you are appreciating or liking what you see please feel free to like and share the stream it's very helpful for me as well. I didn't want to reshare this stream um, since I shared the first one because um, I didn't want to spam all the groups that I was a part of. So I'm hoping you all are finding your way back just because you enjoy watching me paint. That being noted, if you go to my um, main painting page at Jagged, excuse me, Jagged Breast Studios. You can turn on notifications for when I go live, and it'll let you know every time I go live. Alright, so we're grabbing some of this black paint here, and we're going to start going over some of the black areas on her, so um, she's got a bunch of st different stuff broken up. Sabine might take... I'm excited to paint her. She's going to take a little bit more than some of the other streams because, or some of the other models because she does have a lot of freehand work on her, um, which is going to be fun on one hand, but a lot of work on another. I need to find a good reference photo of her jetpack. Like Bosk, her arms are not glued on so that I can remove them if needed. Same with her head and jetpack. Um, that is one good thing about these newer models that they've done is that the, the joints all fit really tight so you can just kind of dry fit them in place and take them out as you need to while you work on the miniature. So I am FFG, thank you very much. I am very appreciative of that.
of y'all watched the Northeast Open stream? I did not get a chance to. I did get to see the new cards spoiled for Clone Wars and uh, Grievous, and I am very excited for Grievous. I know everyone's, a lot of people are excited for the clone troopers, but I'm all about droids. I'll have both, but just like I have rebels, but I don't play them. Droids are going to be my thing. Droidicas, I'm really excited for those. I wanted to see the cards for them. So, I'm glad those... Alright. I do need to probably pull her arms off. To get to her chest plate. So she's gonna get this assembled. Completely so that I can get in there and get some quote unquote black into the areas around her chest plate, all the cloth that's it. have to dodge out, I'm going to leave this video up on my website or my Facebook page, so feel free to come on back and catch it later, although I would much prefer you to stay and watch it live, but I just want to throw that out there before, I know people have to leave and do stuff, so um, feel free to watch as long as you need to, and then um, hopefully you can catch the rest later if you do have to leave. Bear with me a second, my phone decided to shut off the stream that I was watching. I need to plug it in as better as dying. I like to have my phone running the stream so that I can see exactly what you guys are seeing on the Facebook site. I can see what I'm streaming, I can see some other things on the computer, but I want to see the exact stream that you guys are catching. see how some people were commenting on the last post that Sabine's intimidating them, and I could understand that. She is a lot of colors. But the good thing about Sabine is she's all about graffiti, so you don't have to do it super nice. As long as you get it looking somewhat good, I'm sure you'll be just fine. So. Alright. Looks like her buckle is an ash gray color, and I have some of that pulled out already. So we'll get that onto the buckle. I think the difficulty with Sabine is that we're trying to take a cartoon character and paint her when many of the other Legion models are more photorealistic in nature. Do I have a monster brown out already? I think that might. Leather. Surprised they don't have a monster brown. I think this one somehow made it back into my drawer on accident. So 
we're going to do the inside of her thing with Monster Brown. So the, the inside of her legs here that I've left unpainted is going to be Monster Brown. Hey Sean, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping on by. right now, but once it gets a wash, it's going to be a little bit darker than it is now. My overshot. I have to do some cleanup real quick. I'll come back in with my oak brown and do some edge cleanup. Sean, you got any fun terrain projects on the table you're working about? that you're able to talk about. For those of you watching that don't know, Sean Morris is the guy who started and founded Terrain Studio and makes some amazing terrain out there. In fact, provided the terrain for Star Wars Legion Worlds, if I'm not mistaken. We've also got Daniel the Busk, who runs Dan Wolf Gaming and War Worlds, um, who I am actually painting this scene for. Dan makes some amazing 3D printed STLs that I have personally printed and painted. Can't speak highly enough. stream there. Uh -huh. My fault. Sometimes I get really focused on my detail work and lose track of my camera. Yes, Sean, I'll be at Gen Con for sure. Um, I am playing Thursday in the Thursday um, Legion event, and then I am free for the rest of the weekend unless I do well on Thursday, but like I've mentioned in the past, let's not hold our breath for that happening. I mean, I did well at last year's High Command, but that was the first one. Like, people were still learning how to play Legion then. Now that people know how to play Legion, they blow me out of the water. I just paint stuff. In it and go to have fun. We like absurd lists here. You should call your list what meta? Headless and armless have been so far. Alright. She has a, a ring of 
things around her ankle, but I'm actually going to go and pull some GW, one of the few GW paints I use, Rhinox right Hide, just because I don't have anything equivalent in my army painter range. They may make one. I haven't found it yet. I think Oak Brown was supposed to be a similar equivalent, but it's just not dark enough and it's not red enough. So. Let me move my lamp so I don't keep hitting my head into it. hearing when I hit my head into it is um, the expensive diffuser that I have made out of this product called parchment paper. It costs about probably two cents worth of parchment paper. I assume you're going to be at Gen Con, Sean. I know Dan's going because we're traveling together. <laughs> I'm not doing the team event. Um, I didn't want to commit to anything that late on Sunday. It looks like a ton of fun, but um, I've got a long drive home Sunday. And Dan's got an even longer drive home, and we're, like I said, we're riding together, so um, I don't want to commit to something like that. All right. So we're going to start putting laying down some purple. So as I'm going, I'm going to lay down purple on a lot of areas that aren't going to end up being purple later, mostly because um, it's easier. I'll come back and freehand over them, and we'll stipple on some of the oranges later and things like that. So um, bear with me if I rub my arm. I still am suffering from a wasp sting that got me on Friday. If you're joining us late, welcome. Glad to have you here. Leave me a message in the comments. I would love to interact with y'all. We're going to see how long it takes me to get the Sabine done. I think I painted the Bosk that I put up on my page yesterday in about two and a half hours, so... Here's the alien purple that I said we were going to use for her purple color, which... When I which when it gets washed out is gonna be that nice dingy purple that I'm looking for. So alien purple, get my wet palette spun around here. Purple's not a common color I get to use on Legion miniatures, so I'm kind of excited. I like purple on for wargaming. Just a touch closer. What do y'all think? Let me know your thoughts on zooming in.
tighter window to paint in is not a bad thing if I were in a more natural position. So if I zoomed my camera into a different area, um, part of the issue is, is that I am, I, I just need to do some camera adjustments so it's a little bit closer to my body, move my tripod out so it hangs out just a little bit more. Um, that's the biggest issue is that I'm having to lean over my desk more than I typically would when I stream, which is fine. We make it work. We'll go back, end up going back over and um, giving the purple another coat here in a little bit. If you are a Sabine fan, if you scroll way back on my page to some of the first work I've done on there, I have an airspeeder that I painted up in a Sabine scheme that I think turned out pretty slick. I was really happy with it. Alright, let's look at her arms real quick. I need to pull up another reference photo for a second. So we'll get some orange around the collar and on some of the smaller areas. And I hate painting orange, just forewarning. scuffing and all the different paint marks that she's got all over her body. And I'm noticing some areas either I forgot or just missed with my black, so I'll 
Well, that's drying. Here's where we're at so far with her. Her head and everything is sitting on my bench. I, I missed some black over here. like the little things that wrap around her right legs are probably black also. The best thing I've learned about blocking in colors fast is don't worry about being too super clean about it. Um, as you're going to go in detail over it later. I mean, you want the lines generally to be. That was an abrupt end to that song. Not quite sure what happened to that. And her fingertips are orange also. Yeah. 
good as we can. It's not a very large canvas to work on. I mean, it's not much larger than the size of my brush, so we will see just how far we can get with painting an owl on there. The shield. Is that this thing? The thing that goes on our back? Jetpack. Let me make look at wheel. The picture references look nothing like the piece that. FFG provided. That's cool. Oh, 
Way to go, FFG. Way too good. worried for a minute. I was like, I didn't lose a bit. I haven't thrown that box away yet, so. Alright. So, uniform gray for that are on there. 